Hi, my name is Piers Butler. It's August 2024 and I'm exhibiting in a gallery in Soho. I'd like to introduce you to some of the works here and uh, some of the artists here. Uh, my name is Guy Portelli and I'm a sculptor and I'm doing a mosaic workshop here at uh, 15 Bateman Street. Uh, today we had a, a, a homeless girl come in to learn mosaicing and quite a lot of people come in the door looking at the exhibition and before they know it they are cutting the tiles which is absolutely great. Uh, this piece is inspired by Alexander McQueen, many images from his fabrics and from uh, his fashion shows are inherent in the, in the piece. Um, I love to work with mosaic, I love the vibrant colours, but I can also love the fact that I can narrate a piece of art through the mosaicing. Um, I'm genetically Italian, so when I work with mosaic, it feels like home to me. I'm standing in front of the sculpture that I call Beatles Medley. It's a mosaic panel that uh, has reference to about 20 Beatles songs. Um, I love to work in this format because it feels like an old vinyl record. And um, within this we've got reference to uh, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, Strawberry Fields, uh, Rita Meter Maid. Um, uh, and it's got all the four handprints of the Beatles. I managed to find those when researching another project. Uh, because in 1964 a Japanese magazine drew around all the hands of the Beatles and published them in a magazine. And I love to include handprints within the work. Um, the, the piece is very tactile. I encourage people to touch it because um, it, it feels quite different to how it looks. Hi, my name is Sophia Wallace Dunlop and welcome to this fantastic exhibition with nine artists in the middle of Soho. We are supporting homeless women. I was very fortunate to meet the manager of this building who has donated it for this exhibition. Basically, the focus is on homeless women. I too was homeless. This is kind of my story. It's a terrible experience. I grew up around Soho. Um, I, for the last 50 years I've had a Soho connection and um, this painting is really about uh, women on the edge, women on the edge in 1910 and uh, the interest was really because my great aunt was the first ever hunger striker and then I watched Peaky Blind Blinders women and I was inspired a bit by Lowry to do this painting. I really generally enjoy um, expressionism, German expressionism, and uh, I have many interests in many other painters. I've uh, curated the show with Guy Portelli and Lance Haggart OBE, um, who have collaborated with me. Lance has a charity called Sparks. And um, I'm amazed because this is like a dream for me to give back and to encourage 
artists to come back to Soho and we will be giving a percentage of the sales to my fund to help homeless women. Sophia told me the theme of uh, the exhibition was uh, to be centred around homeless women in Soho and so I chose to paint makeup um, in a series of still lives. Makeup is such an intrinsic part of women's um, uh, lives and I imagined that uh, homeless women uh, must have no connection with makeup when they're on the streets or very little. So it seemed a good place to start. Uh, I find still lives a narrative and they're a great opportunity to tell a story. Um, I always put my own story or uh, my friend's stories into the paintings um, using palette and the way the, uh, the objects that I use. Uh, they always just tell a little story and certainly um, to if you look at the paintings there's certainly a narrative going on in them.